this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you have Gemini in a major chart placement, this could be for you. But for cross watchers, this could also be for you if this showed up on your homepage and or you felt drawn to the reading. It could still be for you. I feel like Spirit uses these readings. It's an easy way for them to get a message across, just like putting a song on the radio, showing you repeating numbers, those kind of things. So I believe if it showed up on your homepage and or you felt drawn to it, it could absolutely be a reading for you. <clears throat> but you need to use your intuition to know if it's for you because this is a general collective. This is not a personal. If you want a personal, you can get one on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. I also believe these readings are timeless, so I feel like it doesn't matter if I created this a year ago or now. What matters is when it showed up for you. That's when you were supposed to see it. So this could be a really old reading, and I think it still would pertain to you. That's how I feel these messages work. Spirits, what does the general collective need to know? That is watching this video. What do you want to tell them? What do they need to know? We have back to what you love. Reevaluate re your desires. So you must have gotten off track with something that your soul is craving. There's also a lot of butterflies here, so lots of transformation. Um, so you must have got sidetracked or gotten off. It says back to what you love. So it was something you were already doing. So take a step back from things, re reevaluate what makes you happy and make sure you're doing that as much as possible. I know sometimes what we love to do can't make us as much money or something like that. So, you know, you might have to sit around and do a job you don't like or something. I don't know, but, um, but definitely try to do what you love as much as possible and maybe whatever you're doing for a job, maybe you need to find something that's, maybe it's not sparking your passion anymore. Like I said, you, there's a fine line. Everything's about balance. So, you know, you obviously you can't just quit a, a job that pays okay or pays good to go do something that doesn't, won't make you any money. You know, there's got to be a balance there. But um, you definitely need to get back to what you love. So they want you to reevaluate your desires. There is a message there. And we have appreciate this moment. So live in the moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and to find love. So make sure you're appreciating the moment. Oh, by the way, this was number three. We'll keep that in mind. This is number 33. So if you're seeing repeating numbers, you might be seeing 333. Three, three. This would break down to six. Six is love. So you know, back to what you love. This is appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. And the number breaks down to six, which is love. Reevaluate your desires. It might also be, this might also be a love reading that might be telling you to get back to what you love. Maybe you left somebody you didn't love, that you loved. I don't know. It says be supportive. This is number 45, which breaks down to nine. Nine is almost to the end of a cycle. And this says, make a genuine effort to show you care. So, yeah, I feel like this might actually, at first I thought this was kind of like a, a reading about, you know, your path, your soul's purpose or, you know, something you do as far as career or work goes. But now I'm feeling like this is like trying to lead you back to somebody you love because back to what you love, reevaluate your desires, appreciate the moment. That's going to help you manifest your desires and then be supportive make a genuine effort to show you care let's do another deck and now if you do reach out to somebody to make a, a genuine effort to show you care and they don't react the way you want them to keep in mind you could be planting a seed So even if they don't react the way you want right in that moment, it could be planting a seed that creates change for the future. So for some reason, there is a need for you to be supportive with people in your life. Make a genuine effort to show you care with people in your life. Get back to what you love, whether that's a person, career, just, you know. <clears throat> High vibes are joy, love, you know, um, happiness. Not to say we can be in that all the time. 
we can, but it is important to not let this, the darkness take over either. So um, we need to try and right now, especially with everything going on in the world, we need to try to keep our vibes as high as possible. What else, spirits? Anything else from this deck? A lot of cards. If they were meant to pop out, let them pop out. Can I get just maybe one? That's too many again. Can I get maybe just one, please? Okay, there we go. Car, get into the driver's seat of your life. So they're wanting you to take charge and, and show support to somebody. Maybe even get in the car and drive somewhere. <clears throat> get back to what you love every situation is an opportunity to grow and to find love <clears throat> the car could also be the chariot just talking about moving forward with your sheer willpower with your manifestation so also you know taking control of your life by manifesting, thinking positive to manifest what it is that you want. Make a genuine effort to show you care. Sex, kiss, hug. So this is definitely a love reading. Face and embrace all parts of yourself. Sex, kiss, hug. So this could be a twin flame reading because it's not, why would it say sex, kiss, hug when it's talking about face and embrace all the parts of yourself? And it's showing kind of like two entities here. So I feel like, you know, if we're talking twin flames, um, that it says face and embrace all parts of yourself, but your twin flame is the other half of you. So I feel like, you're coming to a period where you're gonna be, I need to be facing this twin flame and, you know, and embracing them, all parts of yourself, all parts of them, and sex kiss hug. I feel like there's gonna be some, I guess he's, excuse me. I feel like there's gonna be some, some physical affection with you guys, or needs to be, we have falling. Drop into the deep end of your soul. I feel like this is falling in love. Falling in love. So I definitely feel like this is a twin flame reading. This is definitely, or at least the very least, it's a, a love reading, no doubt. It's a love reading. <clears throat> I, when it first started, I was thinking maybe by the back to what you love, I was thinking, and your desires. <clears throat> I was thinking just, um, like I said, uh, your soul's purpose or whatever. And this might be that as well, but. Is definitely to me, it's taking a, a twist here with it being a love reading. Definitely falling, drop into the deep end of your soul. Let yourself, let yourself fall into this face and embrace all parts of yourself. But I think that they're, they're meaning this other part of yours. Like, I mean, this also could be doing shadow work and embracing all parts of yourself. But also, since they're your twin, embracing and we, and since it says sex, kiss, hug. That's like, you know, getting intimate, falling in love, being supportive, show a genuine effort that you care for this person. And one more card from this deck. Is there one more card? Oh, let me move on. Anything from this deck?
Black Jaguar Old Soul, walk through life with confidence and grace. You have power from beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You can create your dream. So you're an old soul here. And this is just focus on what you really want, which also resonates with back to what you love, reevaluate your desires. So you need to be focusing on what you really want. What do you really want? You you're very powerful. You are an old soul. You've had many reincarnations. And it also says you can create your dreams. So we're talking about manifestation, which is why we had to appreciate this moment. That's they're trying to give you the steps of what you need to do with this love situation. Pronghorn action. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you and land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. So there's definitely, for somebody here, whoever's going to see this reading, there's definitely a need to act here. Be supportive when it comes to this love situation. The thing is, if this is a twin flame reading, I would think this is the divine masculine that needs to be the one to act. Could be the feminine, I guess. Maybe this is just a little, maybe whoever this is for is just a little bit different than the other readings because the other readings would have been more like set your boundaries and walk away if you're the divine feminine. So either this isn't a twin flame reading or this, this action is probably for the masculine. Car, get into the driver's seat of your life. The masculine should be probably be getting into the car and showing, showing that they care and embracing their twin and allowing themselves to fall in love. If by chance this is for a feminine, then that must mean that this is just a slightly different message than what I've been getting in a lot of the readings. And if it's just different for this person or this isn't a twin flame reading or, um, or it could be that it's, it is for the, the feminine, but it's just gonna plant a seed, I don't know. Use your intuition to know if you should do this or not. Because I feel like the masculine should be the one making the move right now and being supportive of the feminine. But there, there's definitely a clear message here for whoever this is meant for that you should be making a move, getting back to what you love, that you got off track and there's going to be a transformation here. And showing support to this other person, taking control, getting into the driver's seat of your life, taking action, allowing yourself to fall in love, allowing yourself to embrace both yourself, your inner shadows, and your twins is what I think is what's going on here. I'm just confused about who this is. This is for the masculine or feminine. Maybe both. I don't know. Maybe it's time for whoever this is for. Maybe you've already done the walking away and it's time for you both to kind of soften and take action. I don't know. Whoever you are that's watching, whether you're the masculine or the feminine, if you feel like this resonates with you, if you feel like you keep hearing this message too from other sources, like if your repeating numbers seem to be saying the same thing, this might just be clarification of that or confirmation of that. So you need to kind of use your intuition to know because this is not a personal. If you want a personal, you can go on my website, but this is general. Again, it could be that, yeah, ooh, it could be that, what was I gonna say? Um, this, is, this would be planting a seed. So let's say you did try to take action, but you didn't get the result you wanted at first. It could be that that was meant to happen so you could plant a seed so that they could then do their work. But let's read this. We have Puffin Partnership. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So I feel like, I kind of feel like this is more for the for a masculine. And the thing is, I used to be doing readings where more feminines were watching, but now more masculines are starting to awaken. So this is probably more a message for a masculine here. 
we have unicorn, infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign of the seen and unseen worlds. The magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become the legendary. You have infinite possibilities. We got butterflies there, which means transformation. You, if you're a twin flame as well, you are a unicorn. It's very rare to be a twin flame. You're a unicorn. Your relationship is a unicorn. Both of you are unicorns. And there's infinite possibilities here. We have hummingbird miracles. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. So that's what you need to be doing is keeping things positive, coming from a place of love. Energy shores, sorry, energy soars on your shining wings. There must be a reason I said shores. <laughs> I don't know. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. So keep your vibes high. We're back to uh, keeping your vibes high here. You know, the partnership just to me speaks of you guys being partners. Accept yourself and your colorful personality. So accepting yourself, we also had face and embrace all parts of yourself. So accept yourself and your twin because they are a reflection of you. Feel co confident about being you. So that speaks to me of, again, the masculine because the masculine was the one feeling, you know, both were probably feeling insecure, but the masculine biggest problem was feeling insecure, feeling like they're not good enough for the feminine. And it also says you are the joy bringer. So this whole reading is telling you to come from a place of joy, come from a place of love, get back to what you love, reevaluate your desires, take action, you know, take control of the situation Take action. You have, you can create your dreams. So focus, you know, on your reevaluate desires. Drop into the deep end of your soul. Let yourself fall. Fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with your twin flame again. There is, you know, ask for help. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give the best results. I don't know exactly what that's saying, but all right. So that's a be very beautiful message. I'm actually going to stop this part of the reading here and I'm going to go into a bonus reading and extended where we're going to find out what's going to happen for you guys. What is the current energy? Like, where is it pointing to? What is, you know, if you keep thinking like this, if things keep going this way, what is going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner? I, in the extendeds, I just pull lots of extra cards. We get so many synchronicities. It gets really fun and beautiful a lot of times. Um, and just lots of extra information that's exclusive to my Patreon. So the thing is, like, if you want to sign up, you can go down below, click the link that'll take you over to my Patreon. You'll notice that it's only $5.55, but that's not just for this one reading. That is for exclusive access to all of the bonus extended readings that I've done up until this point and all of the ones I do going forward for whatever time period you pay for. Um, and keep in mind, like if you sign up monthly, you don't have to stay. You can cancel your membership at any time. However, I do appreciate those that do stay monthly because that's what's going to keep me to be able to keep doing these readings and also support this channel. So thank you so much for those that are staying monthly. Um, and you will, you'll keep getting exclusive access to all this extra information. So I pull charms, advice cards, we get a lot of information, but the biggest reason is to find out what's going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner with regard to this love situation. Cause I don't know, you know, we don't even know where this, where this is headed at this point. Um, I needed to stop it cause we were getting kind of long, but, um, you know, we're going to find out what's going to happen and what's going to happen in the next six months to a year or sooner with regard to this situation. So if you want to watch the extended, go down below, click the link. It'll take you over there. If you want a personal reading, that's, you know, because this is still a general collective. You still have to use your intuition to know if this is for you. But if I do a personal, then I'm asking spirit to tell me only about your situation. So that will focus on your situation. So you won't have to sit there and try to figure out if it's for you or not. So if you do want one of those, you can get it on my website. It's www.bossasswitch1111.com. That's the only place you can buy a reading from me or pay me. If anybody ever tries to get you to pay them in any other way, that's not me. And that's, this is being said as of July of 2022. Um, I make a reading just like, like a video, just like this. I upload it to YouTube as private. And then whatever email address you give me, I'll send the link to you via email. 
within a day or two. And you can kind of watch the reading at your leisure. You can watch it again and again. Um, so that's what's good about the personal readings as well. Um, so if you want one of those, my readings start at $20 and go up from there. Obviously, the longer the reading, the better. So if you can afford longer, that's great. If not, I can work with 20. But um, the longer the reading, the more cards I get to pull, the more information we can get. So longer readings are awesome, especially if it's a complicated um, question or something that I, you know, a really serious question, something I need to be very certain about, you know, because <laughs> if something's really serious, I like to have the time to really make sure that I'm understanding the messages. So, and I'm not, yeah. So, um, I'm going to go head over to the extended now. I will see you there right now.